Are you getting a sound like this when you open the door on your 2011 Highlander? Well, that popping you heard could be because the bottom door molding, like this, is sticking out. Good day. Thanks for stopping by the Bent Tool Garage. Today's video is a quick one, just showing an issue I had on my Highlander. It's a 2011, and the bottom door trim um, sticks out, and it causes noise when you open the door, and also doesn't look very good. So in this short video, I'll show how I removed the trim, replaced the problem clip, and reinstalled the trim. The dealership wanted several hundred dollars to replace both bottom trim pieces, um, which I didn't want to spend on this vehicle, so basically I tried a few things uh, to see what I could do to solve it on uh, more of a budget. The clips themselves are available from the Toyota dealership and they only cost a few bucks so that's not a big deal. Um, but the main, the, the bottom trim piece does cost a few hundred dollars for each side. This is the plastic clip that holds it to the body has come out of the hole in the plastic trim. The plastic trim, the hole expands over time and it can't hold the clip very well and it pops out like this. This picture here shows a close-up of the clip and the hole in the trim and basically that blue clip doesn't hold uh, over time or perhaps it's because of the oil spray that I use for rust proofing. Um, basically it doesn't stick into that square anymore and it keeps popping out. This shot here shows the door trim with the molding removed and below is the molding itself. So the issue locations for me are at the front and the back. At the back towards the rear of the vehicle, it's actually a through bolt um, that goes inside the door and it's, it fits into a slot that I'll show later. Um, and in the front location, it is a blue clip that's there um, that is, is coming out of, the, um, out of the trim piece. So I'm going to change that with a, a larger size clip that is used in some of the other locations on this same piece of trim. I'll show that in a moment. Some of the possible solutions I looked at um, was using 3M very high bond tape to basically tape the clips into the trim squares. Um, another option would be to use adhesive and I think that over time that's probably the stronger solution. Um, and that is actually what I used uh, for the rear through bolt clip. I used an adhesive, um, actually just a construction adhesive that I had uh, laying around. Um, that I used for construction. It said it would hold to plastic metal. So I used it on that uh, through bolt. I tried 3M very high bond tape on the front clip location just to add some strength as well as changing to a larger size clip. And it seems to be holding. And I did put 3M very high bond tape on all the other clips as well going into the plastic just to be sure that none of them, um, you know, come loose in, in, in over time. Um, again, I think a stronger hold would be to use the adhesive everywhere uh, between the clip and the plastic door trim, and then you just pop it into the metal on the door. These are the two types of clips that are used on the bottom of the door. The gray one is only used in three locations, and the blue one is used everywhere else. The gray one is about a millimeter bigger on this part up here that clips into the plastic. So this top part here snaps into the plastic and when the hole gets too large in the plastic, like on this blue one, which is a, about a millimeter and a half smaller, it, uh, this top part here won't hold inside the plastic. So I'm going to try and replace close to the front of the vehicle where it's popping. I'm going to try and replace this blue one with one of these gray ones and see if that holds the trim in place better. Okay, so the first step there's a little lip underneath here that folds up and snaps in on itself on this plastic. If you pull that down, it'll allow you some access to see the clips and everything underneath. So if you just reach underneath, find where it's clipping, pull it out and down. So you can see the door there on the bottom. I popped a few of the clips out at the same time. But that's not a big deal. Let's see if I can show you what it looks like underneath. Okay, so you can see the clip 
there. This is the one f near this nearest to the front that's not holding into that molding square cutout for it. So I'm going to try and change that blue one for a gray one. At the back of the door, there's actually a slot in the plastic there. You can see it right there. This one's a bit different in that there's a bolt. I'll show you the bolt in a second. But if you pull off this molding here inside the door, it gives you access to the hole where you can, uh, where that bolt will come through. Okay, and this is that. This is the piece that slides into the molding. And that goes through inside the vehicle. And there's the bolt that you do from inside behind that weather stripping. One of the things I'm going to try before reinstalling this is I'm going to put some adhesive just on this edge around here to try and hold it into the molding because it did pop out. Um, so I don't know how well the adhesive will work, but I'll try and put some adhesive on it and uh, hopefully it stays in the, the slot there. Okay, just to give you a view along the bottom of the door here, so you can see this little flap that goes up and snaps into the molding itself. So, and I put that bolt back in, slid it into place with the adhesive right there, and I put the gray clip in all the way at the front. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna push up, snap this back into place, and then I'll push the molding back onto the clips, and then fasten the, the nut in through here. You can see the bolt popping up there. So I'll pull that in and, and tighten it up. And we'll see if it stays with the gray clip and the adhesive. trying to snap this molding back in. I had to close the door a bit so that it would go. There, feels like it's all back in there. Just snaps in on itself. I guess now we start pushing the molding back on. And hopefully we get some clicks. goes here at the front. Felt it click there. Yep. I just gotta do that bolt on the inside. Okay. There's the bolt there. Might want to have a magnet or a needle nose if that happens. Let's pull it back up. Let's try that again. Got it started. I'm not going to snug it just yet. I want to check the clips again. And then to put this in, you just put that hole, get over that clip, push that back in there, and it's all done. So, so far it does seem that the gray clip holds better 
uh, than the blue one, so replacing that front one with a gray clip hopefully works. Time will tell. So in conclusion, what worked for me, and if I were to do this again, um, basically after removing the trim piece, buying new clips from the dealership, uh, the blue and the gray ones, I would replace the front clip location with a gray one, and then I would also use construction adhesive between the clips and the plastic trim piece, and then reinstall it to the door. I think that would work best. Um, it does make it more difficult if you ever want to remove the piece later, but there should be very few reasons you'd ever have to remove that. So uh, I think that's one solution. Uh, the other option is to spend uh, the money at the dealership and have the whole trim piece replaced. But uh, again, the cost to me for do replacing all the clips, you know, was uh, tens of dollars versus hundreds of dollars to replace the trim, the whole piece of trim. So thanks again for watching. Again, I don't get paid by YouTube or any sponsors or anything like that for the videos that I make. So if this was helpful to anyone, please give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Bye.